Traditional rulers, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. Two years ago, Ghanaians from all walks of life came together to plant trees across the country, marking the maiden edition of Green Ghana Day. Today, Green Ghana Day is a day of hope for climate action. And I'm happy that together we're joining hands for a third year running to plant millions of trees to help restore our lost forest cover and halt the effects of climate change. As has become evident, we're living in a time of unprecedented global environmental challenges that threaten our existence and the fate of our planet. The climate crisis is affecting our health, our livelihoods, our security, and our future, and is the major obstacle to sustainable development. In addition to this, anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions continue to be the major driver of this crisis. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, for example, reports that human activities have emitted some 2.4 trillion tons of carbon dioxide since the pre-industrial area. And half of that amount remains in the atmosphere till this very day. This means that we have already exceeded the safe level of carbon dioxide concentration that will limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, the target set by the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. The United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP, also estimates that global greenhouse gas emissions need to fall by 7.6% annually between 2020 and 2030 to limit the warming of our atmosphere to 1.5 degrees Celsius. The consequences of this are already being felt across the globe. The Green Ghana project is thus very crucial to delivering on our commitments both in our nationally determined contributions and to the international community. We have a history of leading the charge when the need arises, and our climate actions cannot be different. We must continue to work together to ensure that our contribution to climate solution is positive, transformative, and sustainable. I'm proud of the, success, the successes we have charted over the first two years of implementation of this project. It was important that we review our target downwards this year to devote some time and resources to nurturing the over 23 million trees that have survived over the past two years. Today, we have another opportunity to reaffirm our commitment to saving planet Earth and protecting our livelihoods. The theme for this year, our forests, our health, is a clarion call for the need to preserve our forests for our own survival. We must do this with a sense of urgency and renewed purpose, noting that success depends on our collective action. This is a duty we owe not only to current generation, but also to generations yet unborn. We must do it with the spirit of nationalism, solidarity, and most importantly, love for ourselves, our country, and our planet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.